with all of this timber. And try and make ourselves a little carport here in space. is in. some rafters. Made it uh, from that point to that point. Uh, we'll have a five degree pitch, which is the minimum when using color bond roof sheeting. So a little bit lower on this end than I thought it was gonna be, but still plenty of room to cover your head, to cover a car. So I'm cutting my rafters 
and I know that they are five degree, they're on a five degree pitch going from this beam to this beam, that's five degrees. So what I'm doing is this is the end of the rafter, I want to cut it so it's in line with the building, the shed. Um, so this can't be a square cut, can't be 90 degrees, it needs to be a 5 degree cut. So put this on the speed square on the top point for my rafter, I know that's the top because it's bowing that way. And this square has all these different uh, degrees on it, which if I put it on here and I say I want a 30 degree cut, I line the 30 with the top of my timber. And then I draw this line, and I know that that is 30 degrees to that, for that 30 degree angle. But here I want 5 degrees, so I want to go over here, put on the 5, mark that, and that is my cut for my rafter. Hey presto. So now on the bottom of my rafter, in order to make this sit flush on the beam, I need to square it off on that off that five degrees. And so my beam is 40 mil long. So I can measure 40 mil and I mark that to the 40 mil point. And then I bring that in to 40. So now I can cut that off. Now that is a bird's mouth for this rafter.
to note to my 48 followers, make sure you put the patterns on the right side of the line. 